hi and welcome back and um, just showing you some of the cows before we brought them in and uh, we're off today to move some sheep taken her. I can never keep her. She's actually my dog really but I've let them um, let them build a bond. I'm trying not to do anything with her. Um, hi Scouty. So there's a little line of sheep all coming. Hopefully they'll not dash across onto the other side which is highly possible. I might even go across and stop them going across on that gate that bridge there. There's the bridge. There. So Elliot's dashed down with this yow. Um, she's a little bit lame and she doesn't want to walk. And sometimes when they don't want to walk, they drop down and pretend they're dead. So they've brought her down to the bridge so she doesn't hold the rest of them up. And the rest of them are coming shortly. So Elliot's on the bike with Scout and he's bringing the main bunch up. David's over there in the other part of the field. I don't think he realises he's got three there. He's with Paddy, so hopefully Paddy should come round and they're gonna go join them up, which is a bit of a nightmare. I want, I wish we could actually fence all this middle bit off and separate the two fields because this is a bit of a pain for us. Um, a lot of them do dash across this little, there's like a little gutter. 
Elliot's managed to get them, I think, or Scout has. Oh, David's seen the three, including the, uh, the lame one. There's another one up there that's not wanting to walk. So Elliot's probably going to try and put... A, oh no, he's got them, they're going to they're gonna come. Another two, actually. see but it's cold enough so that the steam off the sheet can you see as they've been moving about it's quite a bit of steam off them oh there you go that's a good one so that tells me those ones with the steam have been um, they've been running around well the others have probably took it nice and steady so Elliot's coming up with the other two that didn't want to join the flock and David's in this corner here with Paddy and I'm just waiting till they get nearer to the gate and then I'm going to dash up the hill to stop them going over the hill So we have to be careful they don't turn back and go over to the other side of the field, which is across the other bridge. the bridge. Paddy knows where to go. So it's um, sheep as well. And this little gang, and it's cheap. for rolling in fox poo or anything dead. So sometimes she has to run outside of the bike because she smells so bad. So the sheep are in the front field now. They've crossed over the river and they've gone across the cells. Horses are over there. I think they'll be in this week as well as the cows. Ready? What's up, Lottie? Hmm? You're on weight management like Mummy, aren't you? Yes. So we've brought some more yows in, ready to sort as well. So we've got all the ones that you saw this morning, and now we've got some um, on the back field. So these are going to go all get all sorted up, so we know which tops we're putting with which. So we're gathering all the tops in, and uh, yeah. So these tops are all coming in, and then we're sorting them off with each of the um, sections of yows. 
that we've um, sorted off earlier on before the vet came. Right, so we're just putting these sheep in this field here. And then we're taking the tops back, sort them out in the dark. Got lights over here, I can't even see the damn things. Where are they? Oh, there they are. There they are. Go on. Go on. There we go. There we go. All done. Right, let's get the tops back home. So here's our use for this year, getting out, just going out into the field, but we're just bringing them up, up the lane, up the hill. You can see them. I'm still at the top of the hazards on. David's coming up and uh, there they go. Just uh, pushing them on the road. We've got the hazards on. David's got hazards on, the full beams on. And to be fair, this is quite a, a quiet road anyway. But uh, it just seemed a bit pointless letting them all out again once we'd gathered them all up. So this is one batch of, this is our commercial flock. These are going out with um, two New Zealand Texels. Nearly stood there, probably watching TikTok on the gate. So today's the day we've loused the tubs. We had a lot. We saw a lot of yows actually stood. Um, they're in season. So this is why we've loused them today. So we're just bringing some more tubs back. There isn't a bloody great hole because I've actually filled it in. Actually, clever clogs. This is how it speaks to me. Where's the bloody great hole? I've, oh, look, I joined the things. Oh, right, I, I joined them up. What do you say? You, I think you need to owe me apology. Sorry. On YouTube, you've literally been caught out. Amos does not like the other top. Amos likes his little gang. And that's... Get, look, look, no, oh, you need to go in and shoot it out. This is our top. Um, stop the... Blooming other top jumping out. Ridiculous. These guys all know each other, so they, they get on quite well. Oh my, I missed that on the blooming. Whoa! This bloody idiot took this. Honest to God. Yeah, this top is an absolute blooming nightmare. It's like, we call it Zebedee. It's literally jumping, getting out all the time. Poor Jack, you're traumatised, aren't you, mate? Jack is our pet tub, also known as the last resort runner-up. Like I say, it's trying to get out again. Go on! Big, 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 big! eating my coat. Yes. You gotta wait here till you get your pen sorted. Hello Pepper. Stay here. I'm standing on the gate because literally Ow! Time to escape. While Ellie cleans your pen out. Just behave yourself. I can't, you just cannot believe how strong pigs are when they just lift things up with their noses. Hi it's Tuesday afternoon and um yeah it's cold so we have decided today's the day we're going to bring the cows in and possibly the horses We've just got to try and get all done before it starts to rain it actually feels like it could snow um hopefully not yet anyway 
I'll uh, take you on that journey. So this is the first little batch that's come in. We're just going to get these in first. So this is our first batch coming in. David's just brought them in uh, out of the back field. And now we've got to go across the moss to get the rest. and got myself some uh, warm clothing um yeah so davy's just shot off on the bike uh, to over around about that area i've jumped off because um we're moving the cows in we're getting the big batch of cows in uh, but if he needs to move quickly it's better if he's on the bike on his own so i'm just gonna have a walk up um the top of the hill which is there i'm just gonna go and have a look make sure there's no cows up there and then we're gonna bring the big batch in for winter trying to I'm going to shout them in a minute I'm not going to make you suffer my shouting and then hopefully when I shout them they'll come up this hill and then we'll take them over to that side of the road than expected it's this on the camera is showing up as though it's still light but actually it's quite it's getting quite dusky time now um i'm just waiting for david to uh, give me the nod or shout even and uh, and then i'm gonna let him out 
and they're going to go into the cubicles for winter. Right ladies, it's time for your winter accommodation. Right. Come on girls. Come on. Housing. Come on! Fancy pants looks like she is. You can see how wet the uh, the land is and everything by our yards. Come on, babies! Come on! Nice fancy pants baby, can you guess? Come on babies! Oh God. Here's, I think this is the last of our highlands. Without horns. Go on lady. Go on. Get off my grass! There's the boss on road duty. David is opening the pit up to put all the bales on the top to um, compact it down. He's opening the pit up to get the silage. Obviously he's got some here to get the silage to start feeding the cows now. So the cows are barred back to one side. Um, while David's getting all the silage sorted and then they'll put the silage down this passageway this one here, where's my finger, this side here and then once the, all the silage is all down this edge um, we'll let the cows round and they'll come into this this part here and start feeding Are you happy girls? Okay That is actually my cow, I'm sure it's my cow Is that Libby? Libby! Yes, it is you, isn't it? Uh, dogs, please. Just so I'd show you from a different angle. And you can see how cold it is. Um, that's my breath in front of the uh, in front of the camera. So they're all in. We'll just push them round this side while they're waiting for the haylage, and I mean silage to get um, put down and then they'll come back round. Mm -hmm. 